Uh, I'm going to show you an update for the Isle of Palm here and see what you guys think. Uh, it's not all quite finished yet, but maybe if uh, there's something that you know somebody doesn't like, they can maybe make a comment or let me know, uh, or maybe even uh, give me some ideas for the inventory system. But the inventory system is pretty much uh, pretty much complete. Um, at least the structures there. Uh, the only thing I need to really add on to it are the additional items and maybe some other features, um, some more information, things like that. But let me show you what uh, what it is right now, and I'll also show you a quick jump through uh, the actual multiplayer system and the login system that I have using the MySQL database here. Um, so we'll start off by just running this as a server. Let this boot up here. Since it's the server, I'm not worried about looks and loading screens. I'm not worried about logging in. It's just the plain server. It does minimal things except uh, process the client data. Let me turn this up. Maybe you can hear the background noise. Uh, but anyway, here's the server. Nothing real exciting here. Um, I'll show you the inventory system because when I get the client going on the same machine, it's going to bog down a bit. Uh, but here's what I have. Uh, so here's the inventory system. I have a few items. I think I'm up to 13, 12 or 13 items, including uh, body parts for combining. This is the new combining system. You know, if you wanted that, if you know, have, you have like a piece of mud or something, or maybe you have, um, you know, mortar, you can put it down in this area here, activate your left hand or maybe your right hand uh, or both hands or your feet and combine it to make a new object and the new object you can place in your inventory and use it for uh, for other things uh, for now I'm just gonna clear this and show you some basic things you can make right now um, you know let's click on this a small branch you can find these laying on the ground when you first start the game let's move this you'll see the new moving uh, addition I added since last time I'll move it to this slot here in the combination slot one and I'm also going to add the let's see here so a stick I think it's a sharp stone that you combine yeah let's use a sharp stone so a stick and a sharp stone and let's combine it this happens here okay we're gonna create a small split branch so we'll let this finish here if you move around it's automatically gonna stop but you'll see here you know item count does does go down weight goes down and it looks like we failed because our skills pretty low uh, so let's go and try that again We'll add a branch, small branch, we'll add a sharp stone. Don't worry about some of these icons here because I forced them to be added to the inventory system. So, you know, you may have different items under each group and the image might be wrong for now. But, I mean, once it's set up later, you're not going to have that problem. Let me turn that rain down a bit. You can hear that in the background. Okay, so it looks like we were able to create a small split branch. If we click on that, you'll see the quality is quite low because... Um, as for now, item creation, you're new to the game, your skill's low, you're going to be creating some low quality items unless you get lucky. There is still a possibility to create some nice quality items when you're at low skill, uh, but that's just, you know, few far in between. Uh, so we'll take this and we'll move it back to our inventory system. We can now use this. Uh, let's just say, let's maybe create a stone mallet head. Oh, I don't want to delete that. Uh, yeah, real quick here. We have the repair. You can also move items, and you can also delete items with a confirmation, but I'll just cancel that. All right, so I'll close this. All right, so if we want to make a mallet head, uh, we'll use a small hard stone. We'll put that in the mix here. We'll just throw it in the combination slot two. And I believe we need another small stone. And what we're going to do here is bash them together to see if we can create a primitive stone mallet head. Let's hope like this. If not, we'll just try again. Okay, so it failed on that one. So let's try it again. Nope, it's not what I wanted. Need to find a stone here somewhere. Here's one. This is my last one, I think, so let's hope I don't screw this up. I'm sure there's another one here somewhere. Um, you'll see I try to click on these other places, or I try to add more, or I try to move some things. It's not possible. I got rid of this because I wanted to eliminate a lot of bugs. Uh, so here, let me just delete this. You'll see it now, it is deleted. I need to find a hard stone. I don't think I can find a hard stone in here. Um, but anyway, if you mix two hard stones together, you're going to get a mallet head if you succeed. 
Once you have the mallet head like this, the primitive stone mallet head, let's move this to the combination slot and let's add in the split branch down there and let's combine them. What we're trying to do is we're trying to make a mallet so we can start building things and use it as a uh, basically like a hammer, improving other items and anything else that I can think of. So it looks like we successfully finished the primitive stone mallet. We can move it back to our inventory, maybe use it for later. Now uh, you also notice on the moving feature, I, if I move it the same type of item to as that same item, uh, we can certainly do that. So it was moved from here, I now have two under this slot. If it's a single slot, it's only going to come up with one pop-up. If it's going to have more than one item, you'll see it's all the same item under that category. And each one has its own little specifications and properties. If you try to move this mallet to say a group that does not have the same type of objects, you're going to come up with some kind of error. This will eliminate a lot of bugs as well. Um, so the only way right now, you'll see right now I have different items under some of these. Like I said, it's because I forced it in the array just for testing purposes. Uh, so that's what I have for that. Like I said, you can use your hands. I'm probably going to add some other features, maybe like fire, water, things like that down here. And you know, it's something that players are always going to have on them. Uh, as long as they have a fire close by or as long as there's water close by, whether it's in a barrel, a creek, a lake, pond, bucket, whatever, however you would hold your water. Um, so that's that's how that works. Let me clear this. I'll show you how to make a skin, a snake skin strip. Uh, we already have a strip there, but let's create that by placing the snake skin in the combination slot. And we're also going to need a uh, primitive sharp stone. Sharp stone against snake skin is going to make a strip. And there shouldn't be any failure rate on this. I'm going to try to make it um, as realistic as possible with the failure rate. I mean, there's no point in failing something that usually you'd get every time. So now you'll see we have a snakeskin strip. Let's move that back to the main inventory. The snakeskin weight went down. The primitive sharp stone, the damage has gone up a little bit. There was already damage on this stone because we found it on the ground because we were playing the game. But uh, yeah, there's some damage on it now. Every time you use items, it's going to give it some damage. Uh, let's make another snakeskin snake skin strip. And we made another one. And if you keep on going with this, really, you can make a bunch of snakeskin strips. And that's going to allow you to uh, tie some things, you know, to other objects, whether it's the uh, mallet head to the split branch um, in, the, in the little break there. Um, or, you know, tying something up maybe to a tree or, or use it as a bandage. I don't know. I mean, make weapons out of it. I'm still working on that right now, but uh, we'll get there. Another cool thing is right now I have it so you can equip items to your right and left hand. I'm going to equip this primitive stone mallet to my right hand, and you will see here that it does show up. Just rotate it that. And with that, we can use it to attack other enemies or animals uh, or what will it be, you know. Uh, let's put something in the other hand. Let's put the... Let's put the uh, small split branch in the other hand. And now you will now see that in the other hand. So you can go, right now I have just a right attack. I'm going to make a left attack and maybe a bunch of other special attacks. So, I mean, you can, you can keep going in here and changing these items around. Let's move it all back. Let's add the flat stone. This flat stone, you're going to find some uses for it. Um, you know, maybe it's making a shovel blade or something along those lines. And you'll see now I have a flat stone in my hand. Uh, I'll tell you what, I don't want to get hit by that thing, though. You know, if, I don't know if you guys are ever hitting the head with rocks or stones, but that's pretty painful. Um, so this is going to be kind of like the caveman era of the, of the game that I'm making here, of Isle of Palm. You know, so if you're running around with your friends and you see an enemy or an animal, you're pretty much going to have to pick up rocks pick up resources from the ground that are natural and just go do your thing. Um, so that's pretty much what I have with, with this. Um, so like I said, the inventory system structure is there. The only thing I need to do now is once I start making uh, you know, some of this armor, you can equip the armor to your body, it will show up. I don't know how else it's going to work out, especially with the animation. Um, so I mean, I'm going to do some testing there. I know certainly it's not going to be perfect. 
Um, you know, you might see some body parts coming through the armor, but, you know, 